Good morning everyone, my name is Debo Onifade and today I'd like to talk to software developers or I'm talking about aspiring software developers, data scientists, data engineers. You know, people ask me this question many times. I want to go into tech, what do I do? You know, what area do I focus on? What's trending? And the common terminology is full stack. Now, the first thing I'd say is, if you are not mathematically inclined, and what I mean is, you didn't study engineering, you didn't study computer science, you didn't study physics, science faculty, you didn't graduate from a science faculty, uh, you're disadvantaged. That's the truth, especially in the area of going to, you know, software development, like, you know, especially backend, data engineering it doesn't mean it's impossible but it's more difficult if you're not mathematically inclined that logical reasoning we all are quite we're quite we all acquired them mostly in school during our bachelor's degree program now there's some people that studied arts or social sciences that also have it and they can transition easily but majority of the people that didn't study science, mathematics, you know, what, what we call STEM, science, technology, engineering, math, typically struggle. Now, if you're really very, very interested, excited, you, you, you have a strong drive, it's certainly possible. But the first thing I say is if you want to go into backend development, data engineering, it's better to come from that science and engineering mathematics background. Now, front end front end was not perhaps very technical in the past, and so some people would say, "Okay, but I can easily transition to front end development because, oh, I don't have an engineering background, I can't code so much, I don't really love programming like that." But oh, I can I can do front end. Is it not just about making a website beautiful? But no, today front end developers do a lot of coding not like it's not for artists I'm, i've heard somebody tell me about steam <laughs> you know science technology and drawing art and math i'm sorry steam doesn't apply here i'll tell you where art applies but if you want to go into front-end development you must be ready to code you must be ready to still have some logical reasoning you must be ready to really roll your sleeves and walk like an engineer now if you're going to if you think of ui ux Yes, you can come from an art background. Of course, you need to understand, you know, um, not just graphics, but you need to understand development concepts, really excel as a UI UX person. So you are not, you're not proposing impossible tasks, but you can come from an art background and flourish in UI UX. Today, UI UX people embedded in software engineering teams and I believe if, whichever background you have, as long as you're very artistic, but you're also, you're also great in conceptualizing a product development, then you can excel in UI UX. Now, people also talk about data science versus data engineering. Now, to flourish in data engineering, it's also better come from a science and engineering background, a mathematical, mathematical background. Now, data science is different. Data science is, um, you know, it's kind of different. I think, you know, more people can flourish in that area irrespective of their background compared to data engineering. Now, let's talk about DevOps. DevOps today is, is also better. You know, you, you, it's easier for you if you come from a STEM background, science, technology, engineering, maths, to flourish in DevOps. DevOps also include significant, you know, coding in today's world. Of course, there are some drag and drop, but you must you must be ready to roll your sleeves and do some engineering. Let's talk about project management. Anybody can be a project manager. Some roles require to come from a technical background, and so the title is technical product ma project manager. But some roles don't require technical background. And anybody can be a project manager. Now, 
if you studied engineering it, because project management is very vast project management is utilized in different fields but to manage software development project you just need to understand that sdlc software development life cycle and the whole process very well and you don't need to come from a stem background to excel as a project manager again that's if the role is not a technical project manager roles like product manager again in many companies there's there the product manager is different from product owner product owner is mostly technical um, while product manager in many companies are not very technical product manager can come from a business background focus a lot on business side customer satisfaction uh, side and in some companies in the US you have product manager different from pro owner pro owner is closer to the developers product manager is closer to the business people now but in scenarios where a single person plays the role of product manager and product owner they take an organization that is developing software software that product manager or whatever it's called should be technical you want to make sure that you have a good technical understanding of what is being developed for you to excel. Now, to talk about full stack, I always don't believe it's possible to be great in front end and back end. Again, what does front end and back end mean? Front end includes many different uh, stacks, back end, say. So, you know, in Nigeria, we are used to learning a lot, which is cool, makes us different, makes us very versatile. But at the same time, much as you're trying to learn so many areas, you also want to develop great expertise in a few core areas. So if you're a C-sharp.net guy, you want to be excellent in that C-sharp.net. Even if you're also good with React, you know, AngularJS and things like that. So it's okay to know a lot, a little bit of DevOps, a little bit of JS, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but it's important to be excellent in a few areas that's better than being average in eight different fields now if you are average in eight different areas and you know you go for interviews you can you will be regarded as a, an average developer all the time but if you are excellent in three or four areas and you're averaging another four or six then people will rate you as an expert in those core areas and they would also be happy they are good in other areas so don't you know be fixated on this full stack thing because the reality is that it's very difficult almost impossible to be an excellent front end and an excellent back end, back end developer now finally i'd like to talk about one important point developers in nigeria in the last few years have been pretty arrogant and everybody wants to resign after three months died here yeah, you want to plate your hair you just want to go with Nika to work just enjoy yourself and many of them have stabbed the word loyalty and then sometimes I, I interview some of them and I'm asking did you complete the product development in this organization do you have a product on a published on um, Google Play Store do you have a product published on Apple? Do you have a web app that is working right now? <laughs> when I heard no answers, I'm, and you've worked for six, seven years, I'm wondering if you have really acted right. It's important to always do your best to play very big roles in product development and try to finish end to end in a few organizations rather than play a small role, jump into another company, play a small role, jump into another company, keep playing small roles in product development. At the end of the day, when you grow older and you are seeking managerial positions, some companies will discriminate against you, legitimately, because you're not used, to, you don't even have an end-to-end -end experience, end-to-end -end product development experience. No, all you've been doing is to play 10%, 15% role everywhere and you moved on. I encourage you to do your best to stick around. Don't jump around too much. The demand for developers around the world is now really 
reducing. It's, 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 I'm sure everybody listening to me, a developer, you, you have an idea that the demand is cool enough. At some point, companies will now begin to consider how good you are in management, how responsible, how reliable you have been in the last several years. Those things that companies do not care about in the last in the five to eight years, people will now begin to care about those things. Management, responsibility, reliability, commitment. And I'm encouraging you, it's time for you to learn that. Don't wait until you're a manager before learning that. Start learning that now. So you're back on your software development journey. I think that'll be all for now. Uh, next time I will you know, talk about how to go about learning new skills. Uh, today, I just wanted to enlighten you about different areas. I will talk about um, the areas that are doing well in Nigeria. And until uh, I come away again next time, uh, I wish you a blessed day ahead. <music>